Daniel. Well, 16 years ago, Jenny Best and her husband Nicholas, they moved into a home on Crawford Drive. Well, in the years that followed, building a life in that home, welcoming two children, hosting family functions, all seemed to fall into place. Then the flood of 2016. Basically, we got water in our master bedroom at that point, uh, but we thought it was isolated. We thought that it was not a big deal, that it was, you know, everybody got flooding that year. Um, but as the years have progressed, we've gotten water four times, five times now. And as Nicholas said, that would be the first of several more times that their home would flood. Well, now 2021, the couple says they just want answers. Every time it rains, these are the images that run through Nicholas and Jenny's minds. The worst part for me is not knowing if it's going to happen and having to tell my kids that more of their things are ruined. So Jenny says after their home flooded in May, she was hopeful they'd get some answers from the city as to why this keeps happening. Initially, um, we're pretty responsive in May uh, and then we waited months for to hear back on any type of progress and there's been nothing um nothing ever since nicholas says someone who came out to the home told them that there was a cracked culvert under one of the covered ditches in their neighborhood that the person said could have potentially been the problem and then they sent an engineer as well he came out looked at everything kind of tried to get a size up on the situation and basically told me hey we'll do whatever we need to do that is the last we heard of them. And that would have been sometime in June. And then just a few weeks ago, another rain. So bad that Jenny couldn't get home. Once the water went down enough for them to get through, they realized it happened again. We realized that it had actually gone, it come into our master bedroom under our bed and um, my daughter's room as well. So it was, so it's just a lot more work. We, we've prepared for flooding, which our house is not a waterfront property, so it's hard to it's hard to come home to that and just have more and more things to clean up. Even if the stuff isn't ruined, it's still it still causes a lot of stress and anxiety. Over the last year, Jenny and Nicholas have done their best to waterproof the inside and outside of their home, taking up all of the flooring and staining the concrete, stopping the drywall before it touches the floor, and using a PVC pipe type material for the molding. Um, we have flood barriers that stop the water or they're supposed to st stop and prevent the water from coming in. That's the perimeter of our house. We have sandbagged our property. We've lifted the foundation of our property. We've added trenches. We've added gutters. We've We've done everything as homeowners that we possibly could. We did reach out to Lafayette City officials. Brian Smith returning our email saying in part, the drainage department has received requests and reports of flooding and or blockages along Crawford. On most occasions, it was following rain events of high intensity and short durations, causing the roadside drainage ditches and outfall to be exceeded in capacity as designed. The email goes on to say that the department will schedule culvert flushing within the next week to further ensure that the drainage pipes are clean and reassess the ditch grades. As for Jenny and Nicholas, while the stress of what's next lingers every time the rain starts, they say they'll continue fighting for their home and the neighborhood they love. Yeah, so Dave, so the best family, they have gotten assistance from FEMA. So that was back when they flooded in May. Okay. Um, and so where they were starting the repairs and then they flooded again. So again, it's just a problem that keeps happening. You know, they don't want to have to move. Right. Um, they've been there for 16 years. So there's. So they grew up in that. They neighborhood grew up in that too. neighborhood. Yeah, both of them on on different streets, but like just around around that area. So something that they haven't seen. Now, some other people out there may be experiencing the same thing. So what you can do is go to this story on our website, katc.com. We have a link there, really easy. Just click on that link and it'll bring you to a page that shows you where you could possibly get FEMA assistance if mm -hmm. you are within this certain um, designation, this flooding designation on there. You know, the cost of the money that keeps you keep having to do over and over and over again, mm -hmm. but the big cost is the flood anxiety. And yes. it's not just them, it's people all over Acadiana who have flooding every time it rains. Right, and then, and you guys hear that a lot whenever mm -hmm. you know, you're in the weather lab and you guys get calls all the time, um, you know, especially after 2016, it, I think it's gotten worse right. for a lot of people just kind of not knowing.